After a huge tour, a massive concert film, crashing SNL, bringing new fans to the NFL, and being named Time's Person of the Year, you'd be forgiven for thinking Taylor Swift was done setting records for the year. But you'd be wrong. Polestar announced on Friday that Swift's era's tour is the highest-grossing tour ever and is the first to crack $1 billion with an estimated $1.04 billion in total ticket gross. That's the result of 4.35 million tickets sold through 60 shows. Making it even more impressive? That total doesn't include her The Era's Tour film, which reportedly made $250 million or an estimated $200 million in merchandise sold during the tour. Despite the record-setting year on the road, The Era's Tour isn't over yet. Swift has 76 international dates and 9 U.S. shows scheduled for 2024. Polestar projects that Swift will crack the $1 billion mark again next year, bringing the tour's total to more than $2 billion. Polestar's announcement, which collects revenue data from November 17, 2022, through November 15 of this year, notes that the second highest grossing touring artist of 2023 was, unsurprisingly, Beyonce. The two artists have simultaneous, massive stadium tours, which frequently prompts comparisons between the pair. It was something Swift addressed in her interview with Time. There were so many stadium tours this summer, but the only ones that were compared were me and Beyonce, Swift said. Clearly, it's very lucrative for the media and stand culture to pit two women against each other, even when those two artists in question refused to participate in that discussion. Swift and Beyonce were followed on Polestar's list by Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, Coldplay, Harry Styles, Morgan Wallen, Ed Sheeran, Pink, the Weeknd, and Drake.